Doug Thompson, we're here in the shop today, and uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the uh, Haasfeld Bender, which I love and I use all the time. They have a yoke that can be used with the swing frame and the main frame. I've got it set up to bend 3 16 by one flat bar. So what I do normally is set the yoke to where I can pass the bar through roughly perpendicular to the to the yoke itself. I've got one of the bending blocks in place and I'm going to make the bend right there just to illustrate the point. I'll set it all up. Typically I'm going to check to make sure that the part is perpendicular here so that we don't bend it askew and I'll go ahead and make a 90 degree bend. Yeah, and it does a pretty good job. There are limits on this. The closer you get to the pin and you close everything in, your pressures go way up. So you gotta be careful. I had a friend of mine that didn't know what he was doing, put a piece in, it was too heavy, and he had two kids yanking on it, and it broke the cylinder, this round bar that connects the yoke to this back receiver. Broke it right there, I had to repair that. So you can pretty easily overdo that thing. You gotta be careful.